Hey guys, it's Nessa, and I've been wanting to make this video for a long time, but um, I just don't know like how to really, um, what's the word? My brain is like so bad at learning languages right now. I mean like speaking English even is hard for me because then I would like mix things up with French and like the different languages that I speak, but anyways, so, um, so I've been thinking about like the format that I want this video to have, um, but I wasn't quite sure, so I just like put in some footage of um, me learning French, like the things I do to learn French, uh, the, the videos I watched, the, the activities that I included in my study, and also I included uh, some of my like um, speaking tryout, so sometimes I would record myself talking to the camera. Part of it is like part of the learning process itself, just me like um, trying to tell a story and then like jotting out the words that I don't know how to say and then I'll look for it and then I'll re record myself to the point I get fluent telling that story. Um, it's actually a, a, see, it's actually a, a study method um, promoted by, a, I think it's Language God or something, I'll link him down below, but uh, that's one thing that I found, so that's also another thing that I did, but I also recorded myself trying to talk during my learning journey. Again, I'm still like, I'm not there yet, like I'm so far from where I want to be, so again, this is part of the process, I'm just putting this out to kind of like document myself and um, mostly for myself, but also like for others who might want to learn a language and you know, sometimes you get discouraged because you look at people and they speak super fluently and you're like, holy for moly, I'm dumb because look at this person, but then we didn't, like, we didn't really see what comes behind that and um, what that person did to get to that point. So I thought I'll just make this to motivate myself, say I want to, like, learn another language, which I plan to do, um, but for now it's, it's France, French for now. Uh, so there's that. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Again, the format, it's not like the best. It's like a mixture of everything, but there you go. Nice to catch up. At first, I just started with grammar because I didn't know what to do to study, but then I moved to a pincer. So Pimsleur is an app um, that teaches you the basic of the language using like uh, conversations and asking you questions. And it's very audio based. Um, it also utilizes like active recall and space repetition, which I thought was awesome. I actually got this from Ikenna. Uh, great, great video. I think this would be my approach every time I want to learn a new language. I'll just start with Pinsir for the basics and then go to the next things that I want to do to practice the language and learn the writing or whatever. I didn't have the time. Je n'ai pas le temps. Je n'ai pas eu le temps. Je n'ai pas le temps. Le temps. Le temps. Lisez le numéro 1. Je voudrais vous montrer. And then I go to watching YouTube videos and just getting some input and taking notes. Parlez-vous coucher en chanté Dans cet endroit-là en plus. Donc je comprends la question. Je comprends pourquoi les gens ils se posent la question. Bonjour, je m'appelle Nessa, je parle un peu français et je parle l'anglais. Je suis d'Indonésien et j'ai 19 ans. J'aime beaucoup la France. Je suis ici depuis une semaine. Une semaine. Aujourd'hui est un bon jour. Je suis allée dans un café qui s'appelle Copitoin. Il est, uh, c'est un café dans la rue Siam. Then I would start reading and also like take notes of the words that I don't know. I put them into my Anki deck and just practice them daily. Désolé pour...
Bonjour à tous, je m'appelle Nessa et aujourd'hui je veux te montrer mes progrès en français. Euh, alors je comprends qu'il y a beaucoup de mots qui, euh, que je ne comprends pas et je vais faire beaucoup d'erreurs, mais je pense que c'est normal qu'on qu parle, qu'on euh, apprenait une langue, euh, on fait beaucoup d'erreurs, c'est normal et, et voilà. Alors, euh, j'ai incorporé beaucoup de choses, beaucoup de nouvelles choses euh, sur mon étude. Maintenant, j'ai euh, lire un livre qui s'appelle « L'autre Angers » et j'ai imprimé les premiers chapitres euh, et je prends des notes pour les mots qui, qui je ne comprends pas. Euh, alors, euh, je le mettre sur Anki aussi et je fais mon Anki quotidiennement. J'ai regardé beaucoup de films aussi comme Lupin et j'ai regardé beaucoup de films américains sur Netflix et je change les sous-titres euh, de... Euh, les, ben, je change les audios de, France, euh, de anglais à français. Et j'utilise les sous-titres aussi. Euh, il y a deux sous-titres, euh, les français et l'anglais. Et j'ai deux amis maintenant. Euh, il, il veut, il veut, il veut m'aider à parler et entraîner à parler en français. Euh, alors, je, euh, on, on appelle euh, every on appelle every semaine et, euh, et voilà so yeah that's my progress um i actually started learning french like okay basically i learned french when i was in the states for a year um, in a classroom but then as you can see like my french back then was so bad um i think there are just so much you can do in a classroom of like 40 people um so then i didn't like my french sucks sucked at that time like really badly and uh, I stopped learning French when I was in 12th grade when I was in my senior year back in Indonesia and then um, afterwards I started picking up French again so I started learning for like a month I think um, intensively but then afterwards I, I was focusing on like this entrance exam as been by the end so then I uh, didn't learn French that much I just like um, do it whenever I need some refreshing from like studying history and geography and sociology Ugh. but anyways uh, but yeah so then um, I just learned French once in a while for like refreshing and I started taking things seriously again I think after Ezra which was like last month um, April yes so the progress that you saw it was like I would say like think about it as like a few months um, around like two months intensively if the US one doesn't count because like seriously I just I, my French I bleh, bleh, it was bad um, I mean it's still bad but like you know so anyways uh, I would say around like a few months intensively if we like kind of cram the time into like a shorter period of time so there is that um, I'm so excited over like the progress that I'm gonna make um, in the future. My goal is I would like to take either B2 or C1 one day in EFI for the certification. Um, the reason for that is, I don't know, for now I really like French. I love, love, love French. Like the language, the culture, the place, the people, like gosh, in love with French. And I seriously hope one day, like I, I after thinking about it, I think I want to pursue higher education um, in France. That's the plan for now, but I have no idea. Like, I change my mind all the time, and it's like four years from now. But even, like, even if that's not happening, I would still like to learn French. And if that's happening, then that's great, right? I mean, like, I've got a head start with the language. So there's that. So that's kind of like the end goal. But um, I'm just like doing this for fun for now. And I seriously love learning language, especially French, because French is so <laughs> awesome. And oh, God. I love this language. So there is that. I'm gonna like shoof and thanks for watching. See ya next time.